All right, this is second grade homework and practice for 2-2. We're just continuing working with even and odd numbers. So let's take another look here. The pictures show an even and an odd number. So we have 10. We know that 10 is an even number. I'm gonna write this on here. Zero, two, four, six, eight. Who do we appreciate? Even numbers. So we always look on the right one's place value to see if we're even or odd. So let's take a look at the pattern. Two, four, six, eight, ten. Write an equation for the picture. One, two, three, four, five. Plus one, two, three, four, five equals ten. All right. Now let's take a look. It's, I can tell just by looking at it, we've got one missing here. So we don't have two even rows. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So seven is an odd number. The last top square does not have a pair. So four plus three equals seven. All right, let's take a look at these. Write the number for the picture, circle even or odd, then write the equation. So let's take a look. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight on the top row. Now I can tell one's missing there, so it's definitely gonna be odd, but let's see how many we have on the next row. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So eight plus seven is 15. Let's take a look at that one's place. Is that a zero, two, four, six, eight? Who do we appreciate even numbers? Nope, it's a five. So it is an odd number. So our sum is 15, which is an odd number. Okay, let's take a look at this one. One, two, three, four, five, six. So six, and I don't even have to count the bottom because I know it's the same. Six plus six is a sum of 12. So our sum is 12 and 12 is, oh, it's a two. Zero, two, four, six, eight. Who do we appreciate? Even numbers. So we have even. All right, holy cow. Just by looking at this, I can tell it's even because I'm not missing one like I did over here in number one. So let's count this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So I have 10 plus 10 gives me a sum of 20. And 20 has a zero on the end. Zero, two, four, six, eight. Who do we appreciate? Even numbers. So we know that's going to be even. All right. Let's flip it over and take a look at the back page. And again, you can pause the video as needed if you need a little bit more time. Ooh, word problems, my favorite. All right, let's figure out what they're asking us. Liam says he has an even number of baseballs. So he says he has an even number. Do I agree? Explain, draw a picture, and we're gonna write an equation. So let's count how many balls he has. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, nine. Hang on. Is it zero, two, four, six, eight? Who do we appreciate even numbers? No. So do we agree? No. Draw a picture and write an equation to help. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do one, two, three, and four. One, two, three, four, plus one, two, three, four, five more balls. One, two, three, Four, five. And four plus five equals nine, which is an odd number. Okay? All right, let's take a look at our vocabulary. This is great. You guys are amazing with your academic vocabulary. You know big words like equations and sums and add-ins, so you're going to do great on this. Draw a picture that shows eight plus eight equals 16, then circle even or odd. So we're gonna do our eight plus eight equals 16. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then we're gonna draw eight more underneath. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now I can tell just by looking at it, it's gonna be even. But I also know that the six is zero, two, four, six, eight. Who do we appreciate? Even numbers. Okay, let's take a look at this one. Draw a picture that shows five plus six equals 11, then circle even or odd. So I can look at the sum. 
is 11. I've got a one there. A one is an odd number, so I already know it's gonna be odd. Now I'm gonna draw my picture, five plus six. One, two, three, four, five plus six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, higher order thinking. This is our brain exercise for the day. Jacob says that an even number plus an odd number equals an odd number. Do you agree? All right, so we need to do an even number plus an odd number is always gonna make an odd number. Let's see. So we can pick any even number. So I'm gonna do my equation. And he says it's gonna be odd. Um, I'm gonna pick an even number. Uh, let's see, I'm gonna pick four. And an odd number is five. Four plus five is nine. Oh, four plus five is nine. Nine is an odd number. So do we agree? I'm gonna try one more just to see. I'm gonna do another even number of two plus an odd number of three equals five. Oh, yep, five is another odd number. So do I agree? Yes. And our pictures explain how we did it, so you don't need to write out any words there, okay? Ooh, there's our Common Core Assessment. We know we're gonna have questions just like this on our final exam. Which equations have a sum, so that's the answer after the equal sign, that is an even number. Choose all that apply. So we're gonna look at the number in the ones place and see which ones are zero, two, four, six, eight. Who do we appreciate even numbers? I have a zero here, yep. 10 is an even sum. Five, nope. 12, there's a two in it, yep. Two is an even number. And 18, there's an eight in the ones. Place value, there's an eight there, so we know that is correct. So three out of the four are correct. All right, great job, everybody.